morning, I'm Christine from Rushing River Apiaries and today I'm going to show you how we extract our honey. Um, so in all these boxes that are stacked behind me is this year's wildflower honey and I'll walk you through each step of the extraction process. Now I'll warn you that all of our equipment is at its stickiest right now. This is kind of the tail end of our uh, 2021 harvest. Uh, but that'll kind of give you the reality of this. So in each one of these boxes are between eight to 10 frames of honey. Um, each one can weigh up to about 15 pounds. And if you have a nice close look, you can see that it's all capped honey. So when the bees put those wax caps on it, that means that this honey is cured down to a moisture content of 18% or less. And in this form, it will never go bad. So I'm going to show you how we go from this to the jars of honey that you enjoy so much. Now we are very much a startup and there is lots of our equipment that I wish was kind of bigger and better. But one of the things that we did invest in that has really sped things up is a flail uncapper. Um, so that is the machine that is going to remove all of these wax caps while leaving the comb underneath intact so that we can give it back to the bees. <laughs> Now all of those wax caps that have been removed will be collected so that we can use them in different beeswax products and the honey now is free to flow out of these cells. The uncapper will also catch any of the honey drips so that none of that good uh, cappings honey goes to waste. If there are any wax caps that are missed by the flail extractor then we need to unpick them manually using an uncapping fork like this. Um, I'm doing this on top of a capping spinner that separates these little bits of gooey honey that are stuck on the caps from the caps themselves. So we can harvest a nice dry beeswax from this and we can save any of the honey that would otherwise be wasted. Once it's uncapped, the frame goes into the extractor. So that the honey all flies to the outside and drains down to the bottom of the barrel. When the honey drains out the bottom, we run it through a double stainless steel uh, filter just to remove any wax and uh, little bee parts that might still be in there. After a frame is removed from the spinner, we also scrape any propolis off the edges of the frame. Um, this propolis will be processed and used in a variety of products like throat sprays and salves. You can see our little collection of propolis here in the corner and I've already got another big batch in the freezer ready to be processed. This is one of the piles of wax caps that has come out of the capping spinner. Uh, it's nice and dry, ready to be processed into all of your favorite beeswax products. And the very last step is to put it in bottles. Uh, this is not our machine, it's a loner, but I definitely have it at the top of my wish list for Santa this year. And last but not least, it gets a lid and a sticker, and now we're ready to go to market.